Welcome to our tech troubleshooting series. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many users encounter when working with SystemD on Debian. Our viewer is trying to run a script at System Startup, but while it works perfectly on its own, it fails when executed under SystemD. Let's dive into the details and see how we can help resolve this problem. All right, guys, welcome back to another tech video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you'll get to that resolution. Anyway, on to the video. Cheers. The first step in troubleshooting your system D script is to ensure that the script has the correct environment to run. System services often run in a different environment than your user shell. Next, let's modify your script to include the full paths for all commands. This ensures that systemd can find them when executing your script. Now, let's check the service unit file. Make sure the exec start line points to the correct path of your script. It should be the absolute path. After making these changes, reload the systemd configuration and restart your service. This will apply the updates you've made. Finally, check the status of your service again. If it still fails, review the logs for any specific error messages that can guide further troubleshooting. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The issue was resolved with two key changes. First, the service unit file needed to ensure the service runs only after the network is up. Second, the root user had to add the remote host to the known host list, unlike the ordinary user used for testing. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If your systemd script fails with an exit code, try adding exit zero at the end to indicate a clean exit. You might also need to set typo forking in your systemd entry. If your service doesn't fork, append an ampersand to run it in the background and exit quickly. This prevents the service from timing out or appearing frozen. And that's it. I hope it's helped find you to that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please just take a moment, go down, hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.